hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you liked the video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it y'all is it over with for some of these elites and you know devil worship and puppets that's out here in the industry is it over with for them or are they just going to shed their skin like a snake and some new ones is going to you know emerge are they getting rid of all of the old devil worship and puppets because this is what it looks like right now. They didn't get as high as they can get. And it's time for the fall. Word on the street is Matthew Perry's passing. Y'all, they're saying six months later, the Los Angeles Police Department and the Street Association, not Street Association, um, Street Pharmacy Enforcement Administration have launched a joint criminal investigation into how he passed away, y'all. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. So basically, they're saying that it's a possibility, y'all, that he was taken out. We all knew it anyway. I did the numbers. A lot of other people did the numbers on it. And we know that a lot of people live by these numbers. Okay? And they like to line up when they do a crime by these numbers. And put it in everybody's faces. Well, they have opened up an investigation until his passing, y'all. The beloved friend star passed away October 28th at the age of 54. And they're saying that according to the autopsy report, something ain't adding up, y'all. This is what they're saying. He was found face down in the water. Somewhat similar to how Whitney Houston was taken out. Okay, and then they did the autopsy report and they say, oh, street pharmacy stuff in the system and take it as a loss and go about y'all business. But is it more something sinister going on with these passings? Even, you know, there were people that were digging up his, his shows from friends and it was showing that this man, they was taunting or they really was speaking into existence that he was going to pass away from water. From a drowning. This was what they. Everybody was bringing this stuff to light. That on certain episodes. They were basically saying. Even when a picture comes on. And he's in that little fountain. And the water is coming out of his mouth. And this and that and that and this. And then for him to get found. Just like the stuff that was going on in his show. And subliminal messages was being put out. That this man was going to drown. And this is how they found him. And they're saying that he had pharmacy stuff in his system. And at the same time that they're saying that, you know, he had stuff in his systems and all of this stuff. They're saying that this man was going through treatments and all kind of stuff to avoid doing street pharmacy stuff. They're saying it's not adding up, y'all. This is what they're saying. The LAPD and the DEA are investigating how the actor came to have so much of this street pharmacy stuff in his system. And possession in general. Because they are saying it don't add up, y'all. They say hey, he, he had been undergoing some type of infusion therapy, which is said to have helped with, you know, some stuff that he was going through. And they said that his last session had been a week and a half before he passed, according to his autopsy. And they said the stuff that was in his system at the time of his passing could not be from the infusion therapy. This is what they're saying, y'all. So there's... <laughs> y'all, it looks like a lot of stuff is coming to light this year. And one thing that's so important to me about this guy's autopsy report, that's so important, y'all. Okay, because they found him face floating face down in a hot tub, Okay. In his Los Angeles home, which this is where a lot of people have passed away, 
same way in the inner circle of Puffy and um, I'm just saying y'all, and Jay Z and friends, same inner circle, people that's in the you know, these elites that's selling the souls y'all for fame and fortune, same inner circle. Remember the autopsy for Kim Porter? They had to do two autopsies for her. Um, same thing with other people. They had to do two autopsies for. This guy right here, they're saying that this guy, same thing like Kim Porter, the L.A. County Medical Examiner's Office completed an autopsy at the at that time when he passed, but listed his case as deferred, y'all. Remember when I was telling y'all about Kim Porter when the whole go look up the video that he, he got she, did she get easy eat I put it on there after this one go out did she get easy eat and it said that it was deferred her said the same thing his said okay on its site before taking it down this is what they had on there deferred on the site when you go to look at the autopsy report and then after they completely took it down and released a full report on December the fifteenth this is what they came up with. Kim Porter said deferred too, y'all. Her first one said something else. And then, oh, and y'all, I got to pull up some stuff about Kim Porter's autopsy report. Y'all are not going to believe. Because basically, they're saying that Kim Porter was poisoned. She was given something. And I told you this before, but I got some papers now that show that it was some type of poison pneumonia okay y'all <laughs> y'all it's about to hit the fan in a minute they're opening up this guy's case right now they're investigating that this man was taken out y'all this is what they're basically saying and the same thing that's on his from la y'all better stay away from los angeles uh, um, county coroners i'm telling y'all because to me they can be paid off and after they're paid off they have to be taken out because I found it ironic that somebody that had been doing, you know, corner reports for a long time, for years and years, 20-something years, and then all of a sudden, they start messing with the bodies of the people that's connected to Puffy now. And they get taken out. They mysteriously pass away. The corner. Y'all, it's, it's just, it's odd. It's odd, odd. The, it's mysterious how Kim Porter them passed. And then it's mysterious on how their corner is passing away, too. There's a serious cover-up. And this is why I keep telling y'all that uh, the Hollywood is never going to be the same again. These corners, they about to start going up. They The, the yin-yang doing, you know, their investigations on them as well. And some of them, they are passing away that they are getting to do these corner reports. I guess they're not taking no chances. They get they pay them to do it, and then they turn around and take them out. <laughs> Ring a bell? Because this is what they're saying that's going on with Young Dolph's case. People got paid to do a job, and then they were taken out so that they wouldn't tell on who paid them, y'all. So stay tuned, y'all. Stay tuned. It's a lot coming out this year. It's a lot of cases being reopened. Stuff that they said were not um, suspicious about any crime or nothing. Now they're opening these cases back up saying that, no, nah, something ain't right about this. So stay tuned. Stay tuned, y'all. It, it's more to come. Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you liked the video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.